Thank you, Diana, and thanks everyone. It's uh, nice to see some familiar faces and some new faces. If you don't mind, Tanifa, I'm going to leave it on, at this slide. Yeah, I, I do. Um, first of all, I want to uh, say today is an action day. And uh, who's up for action? Put your hand up if you're up for action. Good, we're in the right place. <laughs> but who's not? Good. All right, so um, I want to thank uh, first and foremost um, Maya Shahani and Akil and all of the uh, uh, help to organize this event. I also want to extend thanks and appreciation to Hanifa and the Alliance of Civilizations. I think Maya, you all know very well. Uh, uh, I just want to say, Hanifa, um, you know, in the United Nations system, uh, I've been around about seven years, and I've been um, to many forums and events and meetings at the UN, and you meet sometimes some people who not only know how to navigate the UN system very well, but people who are really connected to what's happening on the ground. And we're very, very lucky actually to have Hanifa with us. Um, she has really led the civil society uh, movement at the United Nations, and she's a beacon of hope for communities and joining in partnership with governments around the world um, in creating a very strong citizen, a pillar of citizenry around the world. So I just want to extend our appreciation to you, Hanifa, for that. Um, Ileana, thank you for all the effort you put in, not just here in India, but on the Unity and Diversity Project globally. So I just want to note my thanks on that. Um, how did Unity and Diversity come about? Some of you already know. Some of you are, are new to uh, Global Dialogue Foundation. Um, oh, and just while I'm on my thanks, Dave, I want to thank you for coming from Singapore for this event, but also for your contribution and intention to GDF right from the beginning, which was seven or eight years ago. Um, it started off here in India when we first met with Maya, and um, I was in the, and I still am, but I, I wasn't for a while, uh, in the import and uh, shipping business, and I moved out of that because I wanted to give back and do something for society. So I met Maya, I met Dave, and I met a number of others, um, and then I met our founder. And our founder has been working towards addressing inequality. Um, Really, he, he says, the sun comes out for everybody. The sun shines equally for everyone. So, the reason for what we are doing is so that everybody can have their day in the sun. Everyone can benefit and prosper equally. So that's the very reason we are here. So, back to action. Um, over the last few years, the Unity and Diversity World Civil Society has been established, the foundations have been laid, and we're currently in 19 countries where, we, uh, where the initiative has a champion, and some countries are further down the road, such as India, and some countries are still not moving anywhere. But there are 19 countries that are part of the Global Presidency, and then there's a registered membership of over 45 countries. So just as today the United Nations has a pillar of member states, governments at the UN, we, too, are moving in that direction to create the same for citizens so that we ultimately create a united civilization. So what we're doing here is valuable. It's really important. And I guess, uh, not guess, but I can feel that we all shared a feeling last night today, this morning, that we all really are part of something that's really special. So I want to acknowledge you for showing up, and I really want to extend my heartfelt thanks, because you're here, and I can feel you're here, because you really want to make a difference in people's lives. We want to address inequality, and we want to drive forward to a day where everyone is in the sun. So I look forward to the deliberations. I wanted to give you a, just a general feel of the overview of Global Dialogue Foundation. And the moderator here, my friend Liliana, is saying get off, and I will. Thank you.